The last meeting between Virginia and Virginia Tech resulted in a double overtime Hokie victory in Blacksburg last February. The eighth ranked twos were looking to avoid another upset at the hands of their rival as they paid a visit to Castle Coliseum last night. A sweet baby Hokie dressed to impress as the one loss Cavaliers took on Virginia Tech in front of a packed house. Early first half, Justin Bibbs with an aerobatic layup, but who's lead eight to four at the other end. Chris Clark on defense gets the steal and the breakaway. He goes coast to coast and makes the lay in. But Virginia coming in hot. I'm talking Ty Jerome making back to back triples. He scored eight consecutive points to give UVA a 14 to eight lead, and it didn't get much better for the Hokies in the second half. UVA wins 78 52. The Hoos are now 2 0 in conference play. The Hokies are now 0 and 2. 2015 was the last time UVA was able to come out with a victory here in Castle Coliseum, but that was until Wednesday night when they controlled the pace and shot 49% from the field to come away with a 26 point win over the Hokies. I said, be ready for everything. I remember last year the ball balancing on the, uh, the back of the rim. Um, there have been such hard fought games. Um, you know, obviously this was, was rare, but I, our guys just, they kept playing. They kept playing the possession. And again, Virginia Tech was cold, all that stuff happens, but statement games, I, I don't, I, you just, there's, just keep playing. In the first half, Virginia Tech had a small window of opportunity to keep up with UVA. Kerry Blackshear Jr. and Justin Robinson had 14 and 12 points respectively, but 16 forced turnovers created 23 points for the Cavaliers, which had the Hokies playing catch up for most of the night. As, as far as how the game went, uh, stop 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 by us uh, led to a missed shot or led to a turnover um, so I think that's just the way it goes when you're playing from a deficit from early on and that deficit just continues to creep up. Virginia also connected on 12 three-pointers for the night while they limited the Hokies to just two. Now looking ahead the Cavaliers will go home and host UNC on Saturday while the Hokies will stay home and host Pittsburgh this weekend. In Blacksburg, Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.